Hi folks, today I would like to discuss with you three stories which I found rather amusing and let's hope you find them amusing also. The first one takes place on an island in Hawaii, the 50th state of these here United States of America and how this little island on Friday night enjoys what most communities across the nation enjoy during football season. That's Friday night football at the local high school. They find it entertaining and they've been engaging in it. Well, the federal government in Washington, D.C. has a problem with that, says they. Yeah! And the problem's not so much with the football game, but how the field is illuminated. Yeah, that's right. The lights above the stadium are causing bird brain birds to fly into the poles thinking that it's the moon or something to that effect landing on the ground and getting eaten up by cats. In other words, the stadium lights are providing food for the local cats and the federal government does not like that. So they said you no longer can have those games on Friday night as long as those lights are like that. So the school uh, board, they had to change the football game from Friday night to Friday afternoon in the heat of the day to the discomfort of the players and the people. You see, to the federal government, the political correct crowd, people do not matter, animals matter, specifically bird brain birds. Now you think that's enough, huh? These stupid ignorant birds, incidentally, Whatever happened to Darwinism, all you proponents out there of Darwinism who propose political correctness, to survival of the fittest. If you're that stupid to fly into a pole or a light thinking it's the moon, then so be it. You provide food for cats. Well, anyway, these brilliant birds, the bird brains, they have their nest on the ground. <laughs> and these nest on the ground a lot of them get stomped upon by goats and sheep. Yeah! They're getting stomped upon, kids! So, to the people of this Hawaiian island, you want to do away with the problem of these stupid birds flying into the poles? Get more sheep and goats so they stomp them at the source, right on the ground in the nest. And there you go! Accordingly, the federal government has no problem with sheep and goats stomping on them on the ground, but they have a problem with you feeding cats with those poles. There's the problem, kids! <laughs> oh, incidentally, the school board's working on a res resolution to the problem. They're going to modify those lights to where they will not draw in these ignorant birds, so the next football season they'll be able to have their Friday night football games at the local high school stadium. Next story, the state of Connecticut. The Secretary of the State is some Democratic person by the name of Susan Sowitz, something to that effect. She ruled recently that people going into the voting booths, to the voting places, cannot wear t-shirts that have a WWE across the front of the t-shirt. She claims such t-shirts are a political statement. So I guess if I lived in Connecticut, I could not wear this t-shirt. Yeah! Man Bad Voodoo's t-shirt. Because it's a political statement as he makes political pronouncements on his videos. Well, the reason she's given why you cannot wear the WWE World... What does that stand for? Wrestling, World Wrestling Entertainment. Something to that effect. Has to do with wrestling. Well, because the person who owns the WWE... His wife has announced her candidacy or is running for the Republican senator in that state. So she's the Democrat saying you can't wear the WWE because it supports the Republican. See? Free speech. Shut up, will you? According to them Democrats in Connecticut. In the state of Illinois, there was recently a debate between two politicians. And this debate was conducted by the League of Women Voters. That's who they are, kids. The League of Women Voters, who are riddled with political correctness. Before the debate began, a member in the audience asked the question, are we not going to recite the Pledge of Allegiance? To which this lady 
from the League of Women voters said, Oh no, we're not. We never did and we never will. So you know what the audience did? They all got up and they recited the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> you see, you political correct morons? Political correctness is about to be thrown on the scrap heap of history because we real Americans have no stomach for that Stalinist tactic. I have a link to that video in the description. I suggest you watch it. You'll find it very amusing, kids. All right. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.